Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, the women went to the tomb, bringing the fragrant spices they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. They didn't know what to make of this. Suddenly, two men were standing beside them in gleaming bright clothing. The women were frightened and bowed their faces towards the ground. But the man said to them, why do you look for the living among the dead? He isn't here, but has been raised. Remember what he told you while he was still in Galilee? The human one must be handed over to sinners, be crucified and on the third day raised again. Then they remembered his words. When they returned from the tomb, they reported, to, they reported all these things to the 11 and all the others. Hi, my name is Pastor Matt. I'm excited to be here with you today, offering this final reflection, the last of the 40, this journey we've been on for the last 40 days of Lent. It's early in the morning that we encounter the women, the women from Galilee, who Luke had previously told us, watched as Jesus died on the cross, and who saw Joseph of Arimathea and his men lying Jesus' body in the tomb. After seeing this, they went home. It's then that they prepared the fragrant spices and the perfumed oils for the burial ritual. And then they observed the Sabbath. You see, life was already pulling them back into its normal familiar rhythms and routines. Waking, sleeping, eating, breathing, working, resting, dying, remembering. Jesus' life and ministry had been filled with such wonder and promise and expectation. But that was over now. And returning to the normal rhythms of life, they expected to see what they already had seen on the road that morning. Jesus laid to rest in a tomb. Now, if you're like me, Easter is one of the most challenging days of the year because it celebrates what the women witnessed when they arrived at the tomb early that morning, an empty grave, a resurrected Jesus. And again, if you're like me, Easter is one of the most challenging days of the year, not only because it celebrates the impossible, but its consequences force us to totally rearrange our lives if we choose to believe it. Life can't just go back to normal after the resurrection. Now we've been on a journey these last 40 days, reading through the Gospel of Luke. We have come alongside Jesus and his ministry and taken on some new practices and disciplines along the way. But really, in many ways, we are like the women we encountered in today's reading. We are already being pulled back into the old rhythms and routines and habits. So the question is, are you going to let the resurrection totally rearrange your life? Is what you have already started going to stick? You see, resurrection is not just a restoration of life, but a transformation of our lives. If you can remember, on that very first practice 40 days ago, we challenge you to imagine who it is you are becoming. My challenge for you today is to continue in your becoming. Resist the temptation to go back to the old. Continue the practices that have meant the most to you. Continue reading the GPS every day and to continue to imagine what it is God has in store for you next.